We're here with uh, Willie McGinnis from the Rhode Island Rams. Willie, welcome to CA Football Media Day. Thank you. You've uh, started every game for the past two years as defensive tackle for the Rams. What kind of tricks of the trade have you kind of learned over the years in the trenches? Um, uh, you need to be big to play down there, I know that. <laughs> uh, I was playing, when I came in, I was, I was smaller than I am now, obviously. So getting bigger, obviously, made it a lot easier to play in, in the middle. How much does that experience help you going into the season now that uh, year three is a starter? Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm more confident. I feel like I have a grip on what needs to be done in the middle. So looking forward to it. Is it a little more where you don't have to think as much? Maybe you can just kind of go out and play? How much as a freshman do you sit there and figure, where, where do I got to go or what are we doing? Yeah, you, as a freshman, you think about that a lot. You're really nervous and you don't know what you're really doing in there. Then uh, third year going into it, I feel pretty confident and feel like I'm going to have a good year this year. So. Good. Now, playing in the trenches as a defensive lineman, you don't often get a lot of the attention, the notoriety of a linebacker who makes a bunch of tackles or a defensive back. Do you enjoy playing on the line? What's the best part of playing in that position? Well, that's fine with me. As long as I get to play football, it doesn't matter if I get glory or not. So I feel like the best part is just being down there with the other, other three guys on the line, just have a lot of fun, joke around with them during the game and during practice. A lot of fun down there. How much do you guys talk about trying to get into the backfield? Do you kind of keep track of sacks or tackles for loss? Is that a big deal to you guys? Yeah, during practices, uh, actually during spring ball this past uh, this past spring, we actually had a competition like between us and the linebackers who had more tackles, who had more sacks during practices. So that's pretty fun. How much that. is it? Yeah, you, you guys' job is it, is it more to stuff things up up in the middle to let the linebackers make the tackle, or are you making a conscious effort, effort to uh, make plays too? We're definitely trying to make plays down there, trying to get our record, our like glory up size of linebackers so yeah. I mean we do let, help out with linebackers a lot and the stuff in the holes for them and let them read and react so it's a good time for us too though. Yeah. Now last season was a, was a tough one for you guys in your first season with Coach Trainer, but you got nine starters back on defense this year. Talk about the attitude and the expectations of your team going into this season. Uh, I feel like the expectations even more than it was last year. Um, just a lot of guys coming back and we're just feeling uh, we're feeling more confident this year as nine of us are coming back, playing together for the last couple of years, should be a good experience for us. Is it extra motivation or you know, attitude is good and extra motivated to, to kind of improve on a year ago? Yeah, we know what we did last year. We know how we got to improve. Uh, last year was a great learning, like a uh, great learning season for us. New co with a uh, coach trainer coming back, new coach, head coach, a bunch of us playing together, and this, this year is going to be even better for us. How tough it is, is it in this league where you got the last two national champions and teams going to the national championship? It seems like you're playing nationally ranked team every week. How difficult is that? Um, it's actually really difficult. We have like one of the best, uh, one of the best conferences in the one double A football. So it's uh, definitely a learning experience for all of us. Definitely a hard thing, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I love playing competition. It makes it that much better. I had a chance to look at your bio and said you're double majoring in African American studies and communications. You also got a political science minor. What do you hope to do with that after graduation? Uh, actually, I want to do stuff like you're doing today, actually. Now, work with interviews, work with uh, sports people, ESPN type stuff. How are you able to, with, with all those courses and all the coursework you're doing and playing Division One football, how are you able to balance all that? How difficult um, is it? It's real difficult, but as long as you keep your head on it, it gets pretty easy. I mean, you. With football, he, you set yourself up with a schedule. You have a set schedule that we get like you can make uh, make time for class. That's the number one priority here going to football or going to school. So, yeah. Um, I also saw in your bio that one of the things you enjoy is, is, is writing poetry. Is there anything <laughs> specific that you like to write about? Is there anything you enjoy about? Um, uh, I just like writing poetry. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is. Uh, yeah. Basically about struggles and stuff. So I like writing most I was about. Say, sort of a release for you, or yeah, anything like that. It's like letting, letting go and just like putting all the, your feelings out there, stuff built up, so helps out a lot. Willie, thanks for joining us. Enjoy CA Football Media Day today. Thank you. Thank you.